I think it's safe to say that we all have that one friend. You know the one I'm talking about. The one friend. The horse friend. My name is Anna. I like to jump in like a horse. Welcome to So Sorry Productions 2018. Let's all cringe together! I love how emotional the music is right off the bat. It makes you feel bad for them right away. Like they're suffering or something. Oh, where's this chick going? It's good exercise. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, like it's just running. It's just running. How like in what way is it not good exercise? All you do is just run. Dredge. You get to be with your friends. You get to be with your friends. And that's all anyone ever fucking wants in this life is just to be with the friends. Why is it not focusing? I was, you know what? I'm not going to lie. I was inspired by you too. I was inspired enough to make this video. So if you're watching, thank you. It's so emotional. Like the music makes it so sad. It makes it like seem like they're all dying. It's like a, like this isn't make a wish. And if this was make a wish, I don't think that that would be these people's last wish is to ride around on a stick with a horse face on it. Well, slow down, slow down. You're going too quick. You're going too quick. Imagine trying to teach this to somebody after school. Like, it's just glorified running and jumping, is it not? Like, life has its ups and downs. You get it? Like, like when you're riding the, when you're riding the hobby horse, you got the, the ups and the downs. You get it? You get it? Cut that joke right out. I just got to jump up. Ooh, they're doing these on purpose. They're doing these on purpose for sure. I know they are. Damn. Look at the air on that shit. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yo, I might be in the wrong. I might be in the wrong here because yo, that girl could jump higher than I can. Does the visual of this just not look fucked though, like, at all, to anybody? Like, does it not look- it, You gotta be kidding me with this shit. Respect the hobby horse, don't forget to respect. Like, what would you even think if you saw this on the street? It's not a fucking revolution, it's a horse on a stick. Next fucking video. Gotta show the classics. Actually, fun fact about these things is when I when I started thinking of the idea to make this video, uh, I went on Kijiji to find a hobby horse, and uh, most stores sell them for like fifty dollars, and I found one for like five dollars. So I tried to order it, and the guy said he wouldn't sell it to a fully grown man. Real story, not clickbait. This actually happened to me. This I love how seriously all these people are taking this. These people are fucking ecstatic to be here. Um, the best thing about hobby horsing is, I think, the community, especially the community, the community. and also the uh, limitless imagination you can use. Like, there's. Uh, the do you think bronies take take part in this? Like, do you think bronies are sitting at home, like, like watching these videos, wondering, like, why the fuck aren't we involved in this? I mean, you don't see any guys here, but you know they're thinking about it. <clears throat> they think that we think the ho horse is alive, which we do not. We understand that it's dead. <laughs> dead. <laughs> dead. <laughs> Who can say where the road goes, where the day We came, we saw, 
die. <laughs> it did. All right, so that's it. Thank you for watching this video. This is the first one of 2018. Tune in next time when I make my very own hobby horse. I wanted to make it in this video, but eh, you know, there's always more videos. If you would like to be a part of the first ever So Sorry Hobby Horse Tournament, comment down below or send me a message or something like that. But in the meantime, make sure you gallop down to that subscribe button and hit the like while you're there. I'll see you all next week or whenever. This has been Captain Inconsistent Gap Tooth. Out. And who can say if you love grows as your heart shows? We came, we saw, <laughs> it did.